Is this thing on? Okay, good. Hello, I'm Seamus Dunahoo of EVE University, and this is episode 36 of How to Survive EVE Online. Without post facto voiceovers. We are going to get started on the advanced military chain. So let's go to Neocom, Help, the Support tab, and Show Career Agents. And we are going to scroll down, look for advanced military, and start conversation. Now, let's get these other windows out of the way. Oh, by the way, it's been about 16 hours since I last did a recording. Uh, let's see, what do I have training? Electronics, level 4, Lente, forget level 4. Eh, good enough. I suppose I should throw in some extra gunnery stuff in there. Let me throw in some motion prediction, sharpshooter, weapon upgrades. Yeah, that'll work. I could stand to have a few more gunnery skills. Alright, I'm going to close that. Now, I already spoke to the agent by mistake uh, and accepted the first mission. Uh, you should see, however, at the bottom of this window, accept mission. So go ahead and click on that. And basically she wants us to warp to a location and destroy hostile ships. So let's close this, close this, and the Tristan that you used last episode should suffice. Let me click once in the background, hit Alt F, uh, everything looks in order, double click my Tristan, I've got spare ammunition, excellent. Uh, I'm going to close this and let's undock. We are in space. Is my mute switch off? Yes, it is. Right-click in empty space, agent missions, the swap, encounter dead space, warp to location. Uh, why do I still have the scanner window open? I'm going to make that go away. And this is just a straight-up combat fight. Warp in. Blast things to smithereens, warp out. You've done that before, but I'm going to go through the motions here anyway. Left click the acceleration gate and activate gate. Warp drive active. And here we are. Remember, if you hold down both the left and right mouse buttons and you drag up or down, that will zoom in or out. Oh, those look like asteroids. You could mine Svelspar if you wanted to. All right. There's the Corelli Initiate. He's within 18 kilometers. Open fire. And he went boom. Let's lock up the next two. Guns at the closer. Missiles at the farther. I expect these guys to go down easy. Control left click these next three Corelli initiates. Keep in mind that the way we set up our Tristan, uh, guns were effective to about uh, 14 kilometers. Why did the missiles not fire? And missiles are about 18 kilometers, at least with our current setup. Alright. Right click, bookmark location, hit OK. Let's return to the station. Warp drive active. And control R to reload our weapons. Remember, if your modules are not blinking at you like this when you hit control R, then you're not re reloading. 
Also, lasers typically do not need reloading. Now that took a lot less than 15 minutes, so I probably have a little bit of extra time to play with, with this video. So what I am going to do is right-click the agent, complete the mission. She gives you a propulsion jamming skill book, though I think you've already injected it. Let's request a mission just so that we see what the next one is. Uh, right, let's set that aside for now. I'm gonna salvage something, but while I'm salvaging that, let me show you something about bookmarks. So, if I make my Velator active and undock, very hasty when I made my alt avatar for this video series. I don't like looking at my own ugly mug. That's why you're often looking at the back of my head. Alright, if we go to people and places, uh, I have this sorted by date, so the most recent bookmark at the top. Right click, warp to location. Warp drive um, a lot of these others... There's nothing at them anymore. Because I salvaged it, or I forgot to salvage, and the wrecks disappeared either at downtime or after two hours, whichever came first. So I'm just double left clicking, double left click, control A to select all, type in safe spot. Double left click, control A, safe spot. Double left click, control A, safe spot, because if I don't organize these, I've got all these bookmarks here. Let me create a folder. I will call it the safe spot folder. There's a folder. Shift left, left click one entry, shift left click the other, drag them in. Now I've got a safe spot folder. I've still got all these other bookmarks. I could create old exploration work create that folder, left click, shift left click, drag. Now when I right click an empty space, my places are organized into folders, just like that. And it automatically filters according to just the bookmarks that are in Solar System. Uh, so I just wanted to show you that. Uh, so you can organize your bookmarks into folders. And I am using salvager modules to salvage the wrecks. Let's see if I get anything tasty this time. I'm not hopeful, but... I forgot to salvage military 10 of 10. That was a lot of wrecks. Well, a lot of wrecks from the perspective of a new player. I've skipped ahead to a point in the video where I realized that I should probably talk about how many targets you can lock. There are two limits on how many different things you can lock at the same time. One limit is the ship's electronics. If you go to the fitting window and you look down here, max lock targets for a Velator class Galente rookie ship is two. So this ship is never going to lock target lock more than two things at the same time, simply because it's a Velator. The other limit is the skill-based limit. So there's the electronic limit, and there's the skill limit. Whichever limit is lower, that's how many things you can target lock at once. On my character, if I go to the electronics category, I have targeting level 2. So my skill, my skill based limit is 2, plus levels in targeting, plus levels in multitasking. That's the skill limit. I've got targeting level 2, multitasking is not injected. So. 
My skills allow me to lock four targets. I will lock four targets if I'm in a ship that has the electronics to support four or more targets. The Villator can only lock two. Anyway, I think I've talked long enough. Uh, in the next episode, we will take on the next step of the advanced military chain. In the meantime, thank you for watching.